Okay, so let me show you a really cool way to write up patient charts that's probably going to take you less time and it looks nicer, it's easier and easier to organize. So let me show you how to turn a blank template like this and make it a little bit nicer where it's kind of blue. You can switch up the different colors if you want. It's just kind of easier to write on. You can add your own branding. So let me show you how that works, okay? So I'm gonna share my screen here a little bit easier. So let's say you're starting from a blank template like this. How did I change the color? So this is easy. Um, I know probably not too many people care about this, but in Canva, you can change the color to literally whatever you want. Of course, we're dental professionals. We're not going to make it red or anything crazy, but I do like a very light blue because that just goes along with my branding. And then notice how on the side here it has the word draw. Click draw right there and I just like to use the thin um, bell point pen now it's going to be a bit harder for me to do on the computer like I've tried it before let me just zoom in a bit and it's much easier on my iPad which I will kind of show you guys that in a moment so let's say you're writing down you want to write down first the missing teeth number so you can just kind of cross those out here there you go, I'm just doing this quickly. What if you want to write down, there's an MOD amalgam on the tooth, two five, if you're, whoops, sorry, see, even it's so hard to do it over the computer. <laughs> but you can quickly just erase that using the arrow. Let's be a little more careful here, just for the video's sake, I'm gonna keep it simple, and let's say you wanna write an A at the top. But let's say you wanna just add in text instead, so you can, Click the text box here, click on heading or subheading, whatever you want, and you can just type in the patient's name, okay? You, you could even type in amalgam if you wanted to to make it look a little bit nicer, right? So I really like doing this. You can change the font, make it smaller, bigger, whatever you like. Um, remember, it started from, whoops, where's my blank document? Oh, I was writing on the blank document, but First, you have to upload the template into Canva. So I found a blank charting document. I found this one, but I like this one better because it shows like the buckles, the clusals, the primary teeth. You could even do probing numbers in here if you wanted to. Um, well, no, I use a different probing chart, but like this could be like a spot probe type of deal. But isn't this so much nicer than on the computer going tooth by tooth? What I use now is an intraoral camera that I purchased from Amazon. I can leave the link for you guys down below where I actually take a video of the mouth while I'm there with the camera. And then when I come home, I can actually show you that really quick. When I come home, all I have to do is look at the video and then I chart on my iPad when I get home. You could even do it there if you want. This is my stepson's teeth. I'm sure he wouldn't mind me sharing this with you. Sorry guys, one sec. I'm just gonna fast forward it here. There we go. But see, I take a video, the ring light, it's kind of hard to see, but I take a video of the teeth when I'm there. And then when I get home, I can do the charting. So isn't that the neatest thing? So this is now what I do to save me so much time. But what I wanna show you guys is on my iPad, how I make it really easy. So you can download Canva on your iPad as well. You can have the app. I'm just trying to cover up a patient's name here, but see, so I just do it on my iPad and then I take my pen and it just makes it easier. Let's see, can I show you guys? I probably should have done a different camera view here. There we go. Whoops, I wanted to show my face bigger. There we go. So I make it, it's a lot easier to just use the pen. So I'm just going to do something really quick to show you guys. So I'm just going to put in an occlusal for the three, four, but notice how neat and tidy the three, four is on the bottom compared to what I just showed you guys on, on the computer. So I take my pen and I can just literally do whatever I want. This is a test chart, so don't worry, <laughs> but see. It makes it so much easier. And if you don't like something, just click the arrow to undo what you did. So much easier, okay? So I hope that helps you guys. Let me know if any questions to customize charting. Like I said before, find some blank templates. I can actually link some for you if you want down below. Find those. I use Canva here. You don't have to use Canva 
If you don't want to, you can use something else where you can just simply upload it maybe to your iPad or a computer laptop. It could be your, um, it could be Word, it could be Google, I was going to say Google Sheets, so Google Sheets, no, Google Documents, it could be your filing system, it could be even on your iPad files in there. So there's many different things you can do, but this is how I do the charting. So I hope you guys enjoy this. Let me know if any questions and I'll see you in the next one. So are you thinking about becoming